Hey YouTube. I've got a scenario I'm going to try to create today in what's called a suicide lane. Uh, I'm going to try to, I've done this one other time before, but it, the results weren't quite consistent. And what it has to do with is this middle dual use turn lane. Let's see how this goes here. The interesting thing about suicide lanes, A, I've got good visibility of oncoming traffic, but B, I don't have good visibility. It better go. All right, I had to hit the accelerator on that one. Is that it doesn't have a stop line. So in that situation you just saw there, it it uh, it looked like it was gonna commit, but it wasn't going fast enough. So I tapped on the accelerator. I do have some new information about two different items today from early access team. One of them is about the accelerator uh, and the way it's used to capture data. And the other one is about the creeping notification. Uh, I'm going to add the, that information at the end of the video in the summary on, uh, on both of those items. So check that out at the end. Let's set up another scenario. Okay, I've got the second left turn here, and it looks like I'm getting a poor weather detected. Navigator and autopilot unavailable, yet it's doing it anyway and very slowly crossing that traffic. Okay, it did it, um, but this little bit of rain, it's kind of between light and moderate right now, I'd call it light. Uh, I got the navigator and autopilot unavailable. So that was the second scenario, it was a different turn. I'll see if I can set another one up. Okay, I've got another scenario set up here where I'm at a stop sign. I'm going to turn right onto oncoming traffic. The suicide lane is... Okay, it needs to go. Okay, it's in the lane and it committed and it's very slowly accelerating. There was no traffic behind me, so I let it go, but it was a little slow there. So now it's got to take a left here using a suicide lane. Uh, it's got a car... It looks like a lead car to follow. It's waiting on this line and it's kind of getting over very jerkily. Okay, see how there's, there's no stop line here. It looks like it's going to make a decision to go 11 miles an hour. I liked a little bit more of an acceleration there. That was a successful turn. I cannot complain with a successful turn. Uh, I was allowing it to go a little bit further than I perhaps normally would if the traffic had been a little bit closer there. Uh, so let's run that scenario again and see if it'll use any additional acceleration if it needs it. Okay, we're reset here for the exact same scenario where I've got to turn right onto this two lane road. It stopped pretty far back from the stop line here. I don't know why it's stopping so far. So it, coming from the left, there's a stoplight stopping traffic. Okay, but it, let's see how it goes here. Okay, it's proceeding into the right lane. Pretty good. There was no traffic on coming. A very quick jump into the left because it's got three blocks to make this turn. And now it needs to get into this dual turn lane. And I got another poor weather detected navigator and autopilot unavailable. It did the down tone. I'm not exactly sure what that means because it's doing it anyway. All right, so now I'm stopped. And it's got three oncoming cars. You can very clearly see there's a nice gap here, so it should proceed. Zero, one, two, three, four, ten, eleven. That was an okay acceleration in that gap. I, I liked that one. Let's try it again. Okay, here we are again. Same scenario, stop sign, poor weather detected, navigator to autopilot unavailable. But it's proceeding anyway. It was clear to the left, and it stopped, and it's going. And it's I was really, really hesitant there. It still has that alert. A little bit slower change into this left lane now. That was a little smoother than the last two. Oncoming car in the turn lane. I can't get over yet. After the car, it's getting over into this turn lane. Okay. Now it's in the turn lane and it wow, it went for that one. That was good. I like that one. I mean it was aggressive. It was actually almost too aggressive, but I didn't feel unsafe. All right, let's try it again. All right, here we go again. Coming up to the stop sign, it needs to look to the left. It's oncoming traffic. 
it's clear there's a school bus coming but it's not like okay he's waiting go for it you need to go for it go for it okay now it can't get into the left lane because it was too slow it's got the blinker on there's a bus right to the left of me it's okay yeah don't change lanes okay it didn't change lanes now it can get over is it gonna do it all right it got over wow and now it's in get in that lane get in that lane and it didn't even slow down because it saw it was clear the whole way hey i don't know these suicide lanes are working out okay i haven't had any oncoming traffic gaps to really measure so i'm going to do it a couple more times and see if i can get uh, that scenario okay same scenario right turn need to get in the left lane to make the turn needs to look left Stopped pretty far back from the stop sign again. You can see here, it's gonna have to creep up. Uh, doesn't say it's creeping, but it is creeping. Okay, it is clear. It should keep going, it's clear. Very nice. There's no traffic here on this one, so it's gonna be able to get over to the left lane pretty easy. And that was a nice smooth transition with a blinker. That's good. And now it's gonna need, it's got one more block to get into the center turn lane. And with no oncoming traffic, I'm going to guess it's going to roll this whole thing. No stop. A little bit of a jerk. Found its path. No issues there. That was a great one. No traffic scenarios. It seems like it understands how to use those turn lanes just fine. All right, here we go again. I'm losing track on what number we're on. Feels like we're up to about five or six. This time there's oncoming traffic though. So it's a little bit different. And I'm getting the poor weather detected, navigator and autopilot unavailable. Uh, but to this point, that alert has not meant it wasn't going to try. Let's see what happens here. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to show you the side view. All right, it's creeping. It cannot go right now. There's some oncoming traffic and I think it's, it's got decent visibility here. I, I'm leaning forward to get the best visibility, but it can sort of see. Okay, it's clear now. All right, it, it's not clear any longer. Okay, I'm, a, I'm sticking out, but you see this car? It waited for it, but I feel like I was sticking out on that one. All right, and I got the chime that it is navigated autopilot again. Now it's got no traffic behind me. Looks like we are gonna have some oncoming traffic here this time. If you notice, it waits on the, that, well, that time it did cross the yellow line. Previously, it was kind of waiting. Poor weather detected, navigator and autopilot, do not go for that. All right, okay, I disengaged that one because that car did not see it. Okay, that one didn't work so good. It kind of put me in a, in a bad spot. I took over and uh, proceeded in that gap manually. Okay, well, traffic is a variable, that's for sure. Maybe it was resting on the confidence from its previous tests but I'm gonna have to do it again now. Okay, here we go again. I just had a, an alert. Oh, looks like I'm driving visualization temporarily degraded. Feature may be restored on the next drive. It looks like I'm all frozen here. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but I'm gonna let it do what it thinks is right. Okay, it's waiting on traffic that is oncoming. It can go in the right lane. All right, it stayed in the right lane. I accidentally disengaged. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I had to do a, a double button reset. My visualization was completely frozen. Uh, but here we are again, same scenario. Give me a little peek from the left. It needs to creep up a little bit for It's still giving me the poor weather detected. All right, it's clear. It can go in either left or right lanes. It's still waiting though. And it's clear, all right. All right, that was fine, a little slow. Getting into the left turn lane. A Little bit of oncoming traffic here. Let's see how it chooses to get into the uh, center turn lane. All right, it did cross the yellow there. All right, it has a gap and it rolled and should kept going. It did it just fine. So it shot the gap. I like the way it can shoot the gap. Okay, I think that's good for these tests today. 
I have a little bit of information from the early access team that I think is worth sharing and I actually may have cr created a little bit of confusion on this so I'm going to try to correct myself. Uh, I've been reporting about the way information is captured and collected for the early access team. Uh, previously I have said that the disengagements are all captured and that is true. Uh, and the snapshot button up here, the very small snapshot button, which we have asked them to make larger, and, and they've said they would consider that, uh, is used for highlighting uh, special events. We get about five to six um, presses of that button, and then the oldest one starts to get overwritten. That's what we've been told. Uh, the one additional thing that I think is worth noting here is the use of the accelerator. Uh, early access did say that the accelerator is considered a modification or a uh, change of the control of the car which is captured but it does not disengage the autopilot so the steering wheel the brake and up on the stock all three disengage the autopilot which is captured pressing the accelerator which I'm kind of we're kind of calling it feathering it so like you kind of teasing it to go forward is modifying the control and is considered an intervention but without disengaging the autopilot and it is also captured um, so that is a, a little bit of a correction on what i said uh yesterday and the day before and, and previously the other bit of information that i think is worth commenting on is the creeping notification that uh, we get the creeping notification is actually now been clarified to be an indication of when the car is done creeping so when the creeping indication goes away the car will either stay put until it's clear or it will proceed which I think is a little bit of new information so that we can use the uh, evidence of the creeping notification here as it's still working towards finding uh, its best viewpoint and viewing angle so that's a, a little bit more information to watch as we see how far it's going to creep and then when the creeping notification goes away, it's either going to go for it or continue to wait. So hopefully that adds a little bit of clarity uh, to, two, to two different items there. Uh, the last point I'll say is this beta version I'm testing today is FSD beta 10.1. Uh, we received this update last night um, at about 2 a.m. 2:30 a.m. Eastern Time, um, and if you go here, it has been iterated to 4835.6. We were at 4835.1 uh, for beta 10. The early access team uh, sent us an email and said that the only change to this update was the re-edition of the wide visualization when autopilot is engaged. Uh, I on the Model Y did not lose that on Beta 10. So if you look at the last two videos I posted, I had the wide view. And here I'll show you what we're talking about. When, I'm sorry, when you are navigating uh, and the autopilot is engaged, this view will go to this wide view. And that's, that's what they were talking about. Some of the FSD Beta drivers lost that wide view on Beta 10 and their early access team uh, gave it back to them uh, upon request with uh, an over-the-air update last night. All right, so that's uh, all I got for today's testing. We'll call that uh, FSD Beta 10.1 suicide lane testing with uh, multiple multiple scenarios. A Little bit of mixed in uh, moderate to light rain also to add to a little bit of the complexity with some of the alerts down here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please uh, add some comments down below. I really uh, enjoy seeing what everyone else uh, sees and thinks about these videos. Have a great day.